What is up, guys? Um, I wanted to make this video telling you dudes that I was going. I'm going to Evo now. The plan was definitely not to go to Evo, considering that the money just wasn't there for it. It was a big trip, and considering how last minute the flight arrangements would have been, it was something that I was definitely counting out. I didn't think it would happen, but um, I got to give a shout out to this dude, Sky Williams, man. You know, I mean, I mentioned Sky plenty of times in my videos earlier on. Uh, my nigga Sky, as a lot of you dudes may remember, this dude. You know, he like after after Iwata passing and whatnot. You know, things were just really heavy for a few days. You, you guys know. I mean, they're still a little bit heavy now, but I guess people are starting to you know realize it's it's better to be optimistic and happy, you know, about everything he did rather than be sad about his death and whatnot. So Sky, at one point, this dude, yo man, Sky is a goddamn. He's some he's some kind of person, man. He really is, dude. This dude reached out to me and he he, he we were talking for a little bit, and he said to me, dude. um... Are you going to fucking Evo? And I told him, of course, no. I mean, I, I was thinking about it, and I was saying, you know, oh, maybe I, I will try to go to Evo, but the money just wasn't there, because, you know, I mean, like, the weird thing about the way YouTube works is that even if you get a lot of views, it usually depends upon your CPM. So my CPM has been really low lately for some strange reason, I guess because my audience is... Um, I don't know, we're, we're older people, so, you know, I guess somehow we managed to avoid ads more with ad block and shit, but, I mean, I don't think that's the only reason, though. I think it's also the age demographic of my audience as well, too. There's a lot of factors behind it, and it's not like, like I can't live off of the money I make on YouTube right now, but there's not really much leeway to do other outside things, you know? Like, I can basically pay rent, pay my electric, pay my, um, my cable, I can pay my phone bill, I can pay um, some of Christine's bills as well, too. And then after all that's said and done, usually there's not much money left off after the fact. But I know for a fact my YouTube channel will grow. I know the views will come in more, so I'm not even concerned about that right now. But still, I just don't have enough money outside of all those things to be able to afford a trip, which, you know, probably would cost anywhere between 800 to fucking 1000 something dollars. Because, you know, it's not just about the flight and it's hotel. And then it's also pocket money and traveling money when you're actually in the new location. There's a lot of expenses to take into account with this whole thing that... Made me say, you know, Evo is not a possibility this year for my black ass. But Sky Williams, man, if you guys remember the things that Sky Williams has done before to help out people who were in need, like, you know, when Apex happened and the hotel was shut down due to the fire marshals, Sky Williams came through and he was like, you know what? I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to get people hotel rooms in the new hotel and buy them them shits on my own budget. You know, crazy stuff, man. So when this dude Sky hit me up and he said, you know what, man? I'm taking your ass to Evo. It was, man, it was really, it was really touching to me, you know, that this dude made a gesture like that. I'm really, really touched by it. Like, you know, it's, it's somewhat strange, guys. You know, I've been on YouTube for how long now? And I, two years ago, I had 300 subscribers. So now I have almost 200,000, which is just mind blowing in itself, first off. But, you know, the, the kindness that people have been showing me in this journey and these people are not just randoms like these are guys that I've looked up to that I've known for years now and these dudes are actually reaching out to me and saying you know what man you're part of this community now you need to be with us during this time you know Iwata passing before Evo was just so bad in timing man it just really it really puts a bad taste in your mouth considering damn man it was just really really bad timing and you know considering that Bill Trenton is also going to be at Evo too I, I, I understand why Sky did it, man, you know, and I can, I can say, you know, I'm thankful that Sky was able to, you know, spend his money on me, but at the same time, you know, he did it because he wants there to be as many people as possible at EVO to be able to celebrate Iwata's legacy, for us to come together as a family of sorts, and, you know, just, just show support for this whole thing, you know, show, show Nintendo, show our own people that, you know, we can come together and mourn, we can come together and, you know, forget all the bullshit and just be a community. Be happy. And I, I get that, man. I get it 100%, man. Um, so I'm going to be going to Evo. On the 16th, I'll be flying out um, 4 a.m. on the 16th. And I'll be in Las Vegas for the whole thing. Now, the one other thing that made me concerned about going to Evo is because even if I did have the money to go to Evo, my laptop is shot. It's finished. Kaput. So I'm not going to be able to put out the high-quality videos that you guys are used to seeing me do right now when I'm at Evo it's not going to be able to happen so you guys are going to have to um, somehow get used to the fact that when I'm at Evo 
it'll be webcam quality. Um, it might not be smoother frame rates. I don't know. I mean, my laptop now is just done. I mean, right now I have a really strong desktop setup, but you know, this obviously can't come with me to Vegas. So things aren't going to be as pretty for the next five days. I'm, I'm going there on the 16th and I'll be leaving on the 20th. So I'll be active probably the 21st. Still, that's five days of me gone. But like, I'm not saying that I'm not going to be posting videos, but they're not going to be stand up quality, you know, but I, hopefully you guys can deal with that. I don't think the quality of the videos is necessarily all that important, man. I mean, I'm going to be posting content regularly while I'm at Evo. A lot of it, sadly, will be cell phone camera footage as well, too. But when I'm back in my hotel room or wherever I'm staying, whoever I'm staying with, when I'm back there, I'll be trying to do some live streams. And I'll also be trying to um, post just general Smash videos, collabs. Think about it. Every single massive Smash Brothers name is going to be at Evo this year. Every single name. There'll be so many people that I can work with that I feel five days isn't even enough to be able for me to be able to get around to where I need to go. I mean, I don't mean to say, I, I don't, uh, I'm, I'm repeating myself. I, I have a tendency to repeat myself a lot, don't I? I don't mean to make it sound as if I'm like some high price item or whatever, but you know, I'm probably going to be getting pulled in a lot of directions. So I need to use these five days wisely. I'm going to Las Vegas early on the 16th, 4 a.m. So that way I can use the day that I have and spend it with certain people doing certain things. Um, that way I can just make the most out of that trip, man, because there's so many reasons that I'm going on this trip. And the main thing is for the people. You know, I'm not even in the tournament. I'm not competing. I mean, my Red Robin ain't going to be actually like a candidate. So don't think that's going to be the way it is. Etika's not going to be fighting in EVO. I'm just literally going there for the people. That's my main goal, just to have fun, to, to make connections, to build upon connections that I already have established. Because there's going to be some people there that I've already hung out with before. My nigga John Carlo Paramango, my nigga Shofu, and um, my nigga Sky. We can't forget my nigga Sky, man. This dude is really nice, man. I never said a word to him up until now. You know, we never talked. But, you know, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I really hope you don't mind, Sky. I really hope you don't mind. But I have to show this, man. Sky, I, I can't not show this, man. I hope you don't mind, dude. Like, I'm not going to go too much into our conversation. But I just got to show you guys what's going on here. So, um, look at this shit, man. Um, I'm just going to zoom in real quick. Because... This shit was touching, man. So we're back, and um, here's what happened, man. This dude, Sky, literally messaged me on the 12th. You know, we never said anything to each other before. All, the only way that I would, I would mention him in videos, and that would be it. So when I got a message from him, I was, like, genuinely surprised. I knew eventually I would bump into Sky, but considering the factors of it, I didn't think it would be now. Considering Evo was about to happen, I didn't think I'd be going. He said, my new video, I figured you'd appreciate it. You're new to the Smash community, which I definitely am, and that's great, but we are a family, and I want you to understand the impact of what that means. And I said, I'm definitely going to take a look, my dude. I hear you. We all have a connection in this bitch. And then um, we were talking a little bit more, and then he asked me, uh, are you going to Evo? And I said, dude, I want to so bad, but it's looking like it won't happen, which I feel bad about because I already told um, Giancarlo Paramango and Shofu that I was going to stay with them. And I did because I was thinking maybe at that point I could budget it out. Um, I was thinking, at one point I even considered doing a donation campaign, but I couldn't take that much money from you guys, considering that you already did, you already been contributing so much during the streams, like, I mean, like, like the money is one thing, it keeps my ass alive, that's the main focus of it, so I, there's no way I could ask you dudes for like a thousand dollars to fucking go to Evo, so that's why I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bow out of it, this isn't gonna be something I can do, and this guy says, why can't you go, it just wasn't a good start to the summer for me financially, so I'm gonna have to sit this one out, um, I was considering trying to raise funds with streams, but it didn't feel right and definitely not doing that now I'm probably gonna be able to go to anything else after August though So I'll, you know, I should be good like after I don't know if there's anything major going on um, in the later months of the year But after August like my funds should be okay now my views are alright my CPM should rise if it doesn't then I'll deal But I'm going to I, I think everything's gonna be okay after that month and then he says straight up I'm gonna fly you out and then I said, I'm not sure if anything major happens after Evo, but I said that before his message of I'll fly you light comes in. And he said, if you want or help you, you need to come. And then I said, dude, give me a second. And he said, how much is it? And, you know, I'm, off, I'm, I'm speechless by the fact that you offered this, even though I know we've not talked much at all. 
but I'm fucking floored by this. Thank you so much, Sky. I'm, I really don't want to inconvenience you like that, though. I know how tickets get mad expensive if they're booked last minute. And, you know, he just kept asking for the price. So the conversation goes on after this. Um, you know, I don't want to get too into details because, you know, privacy and whatnot. But this dude, this dude straight up was like, you know what, man, you, you got to come out. And I'm glad, man. He gave me the opportunity to come out and to express the love that I have for that man, Iwata. And at the same time, be with people who are familiars in the community. And finally, meet in person with all these guys that I've been talking to online for years now. Everyone's going to be there, man. And I feel like it's nice that somebody who represents more of a casual side of the community, like myself, is going to be able to make an appearance at such a competitive event. Hopefully, it'll bring those two get together. Because I know a lot of you guys tend to be intimidated by how the competitive community works. And a lot of you dudes are subscribed to a lot of other competitive people. That's why I always find it offensive whenever somebody says my audience is dumb or childish or whatever. Because, nigga, a lot of my guys are other people's guys, too. A lot of people that watch me watch Hungrybox, watch Zero, watch Mewtwo King. I mean, let's not be idiots here, you know? I mean, people just act a certain way when I come around. I don't know why. It's, it's funny, though. I find it hilarious. But don't offend my community, because these guys are the same communities as some people that may watch you. Some people that watch Leffen. Plenty of people that watch Leffen watch me. But, I'm, you know, we all share a general, a general number of subscribers, viewers, uh, followers, subscriptions, etc., etc., so that's why I could never offend somebody's fan base like that, because you never know how much of a percentage of their people is actually your people, because the same person can watch multiple people. We have to remember that fact. So I'm glad that I will be able to go down to Evo and kind of like, you know, represent a different side of the community and, you know, make things a little bit more fun, man. I hope, I hope that'll be the case. I have this horrible neck pain right now. It's been bugging the shit out of me, in fact. Um, in fact, even me doing this video right now, this neck pain is killing me, dude. I'm gonna have to take some painkillers for this shit. But we should be we should be good, man. Um, so right now, what I'm doing, I'm preparing the laptop. I'm preparing this laptop, this old thing, man. It's so messed up now that it can't even stay on by itself. Like I turned it on, and um, you know, laptops have a battery in them and shit, so it turns on. But the shit can't stay on, and it gives me this weird message about, oh, the power wattage is fucked up, so your laptop is going to explode any minute now. And, it, it, you know, it's powered with a battery. Here, you can see the battery here. You can see it right there. This is the battery, this part. That's probably not safe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the shit is fucked up, man. And um, if I unplug this bitch, it doesn't have any power. Boom, gone. This thing no longer holds a charge, it no longer... This is a fucking desktop now. <laughs> this is a fucking desktop, my nigga. So, this is what I'm going to be working with at Evo. It's a very messed up laptop, it no longer uses all of its resources, so things are going to be kind of slow. But it's all I got, guys. And so, please forgive me. I'm saying all this so that way you understand what the situation is going to be. Don't crucify me if the videos for the next week are kind of low budget, low, well not low budget, but you know, low quality. I always said I'm going to get a new laptop. I was hoping I would get one this summer. But the funds just haven't been there. But um, still, I'll make this one work. I'll use this little baby. This is what I started my YouTube channel on. I'm going to use this baby to the maximum potential. So, hey, guys, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. You'll be, able to, you'll be able to manage. You'll be able to live. You know, it's fine. Webcam quality, it's not that bad. I got a good webcam, so it'll be okay. I want to take that camera, but I don't. the, the, the processor in that shit is not going to be able to handle it. I know that for a fact. So we'll deal with what we got. But anyways, guys, I will be making, I'll be trying to do a stream before I leave for Vegas. So I leave on the 16th, 4 a.m. I'll be trying to do a stream leading up to it, a big ass stream leading up to it. So look out for that. It should be a lot of fun. And, you know, you guys could use that as an opportunity to say your last goodbyes, I guess, although I'm going to be posting videos from Vegas anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, just kind of like a, a, a home farewell, you know, Etika's going to Vegas to Evo. It's my first major event I'm going to. I didn't get to go to Apex. I didn't get to go to CEO. I'm going to Evo, man. I can't wait. I'm so fucking excited. I'm so fucking excited. I mean, it's a time of mourning because of Iwata, but at the same time, there'll be a lot of friends there, a lot of people that I really wanted to meet for such a long time now. I'm going to have a goddamn blast, man, and I'm glad that, you know, I'll be able to take you guys with me, and I'll be posting as many videos as possible. You might get spammed, even, by videos on my end, but, you know, it'll be of me and a lot of other reputable members of the community, all of us having fun playing games together, and who knows, maybe y'all might get surprised at how good I am in Smash in comparison to these dudes, so we'll see exactly what the fuck goes down, but I'll be streaming. 
I'll either be streaming to the moment that I leave for Vegas, because I leave at 4 a.m., so maybe I'll stream to the point where, um, maybe I'll stream to the point where I literally put my backpack on and say, well, guys, I'm heading to Vegas, my, ca my taxi cab is here, I'll see you guys in Vegas, take care, and then I just turn off everything, and then I literally make a video hours later, like, hey, I'm in Vegas, niggas, <laughs> what's up? Um, we'll be doing a stream probably like that, that'll be fun, won't it be? I think it'll be fucking fun. And maybe I can bust some more y'all niggas' asses and get back at Link Master for wrecking my ass. Uh, I, I, I'll get back at you. Yeah, Robin was serious, man. Anyways, guys. You know, things are somber now because of Iwata, but we all know for a fact this man would have wanted us to um, be happy, to play games, to enjoy ourselves, and to you know, use his death as a means for us to understand that we have to live. I was talking to Sully briefly about this before on Twitter, and Sully made a damn good point. You know, everyone was sad about Iwata dying, but he said, you know, this is even more of a reason as to why we should live our lives the way we want to. Because Iwata did, he did what he loved, gaming, and even though he passed away, we know that he did so in probably the happiest state of his life. Sure, the bad E3, people were giving him shit for it, but he did what he loved. And life is short, man. Like, you know, dying at 55 like that? Not right, man. So, Sully made a good point to me. He said, you know what, Etika, man, we gotta live, man. We gotta do what we can. We can't be constantly keeping ourselves in the shade or playing it safe or not trying out new things or new ideas or whatever. It makes a lot of sense, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be able to spread our wings, expand our horizons. You know what I mean? And you know the best way to do that sometimes is to just fucking jump into it, not worry about the consequences, and just do it. You know, I don't really have that much money for this Evo trip. I even told Sky that. I said, you know, bro, I, I mean, you know, even you you're flying me out, I really don't have pocket money like that. So, I mean, I, I don't know. But, you know, at the same time, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I got a little bit of money, a tiny little bit. He said he would help me out a little bit. So, I mean, fuck it. Fuck it. Do it. It's going to be fun. That's all that matters, I guess. We got to live, man. We got to live. That's what Iwata would have wanted, man. We have to live. We have to enjoy the time we had, man. Iwata had a quote that I loved. I fell in love with that quote, man, and it wasn't the one where, you know, I'm a developer, business card, I'm a, I'm a corporate thing, and my heart, I'm a gamer. That wasn't the quote. Like, at one point, he was talking about how he became to work at Nintendo, and he was saying, you know, oh, my dad, he hated what I did. He didn't want me to do anything gaming-wise, and then he said something along the lines of, uh, I was dedicated, I knew that gaming would be the future. You know, youth is an amazing thing. Youth is an amazing thing. Iwata said that, yo. He said, you know what? Like, I just knew gaming, electronics was going to be where the future is. And, you know, even though my family didn't agree with me, I still did what I loved. And sometimes that's the stance you got to take in life. Your family won't agree with a lot of the things you do sometimes, depending on who you are, who they are. If you know that you have your balls deep in something, then do it. Go with it. Even if you fail, man. You at least did what you wanted to do, and you're happy because of that. And that's what's really important at the end of the day. Your happiness. All right, guys. So my neck is really hurting. I'm going to go take a painkiller for this shit right now. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we start the stream to send my ass off to Vegas. It'll be fun. Um, I've never been to Vegas before, so this will be a new experience for me in so many ways. I'll see you guys then. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.